we're asked to use the shell method or tubes method to determine the volume of solid formed by rotating the region bounded by f of x equals negative 3 sine x, y equals 0, x equals pi, and x equals 2 pi about the y-axis. Looking at this graph in the lower left, we should recognize that f of x equals negative 3 sine x would be the sine function with an amplitude of 3 reflected across the x-axis, which should be this graph here. y equals 0 is the x-axis x equals pi is the vertical line here, passing through pi on the x-axis, and x equals 2 pi is this vertical line, passing through 2 pi on the vertical axis. So this shaded region is the bounded region. We're rotating about the y-axis, which would be here. So if we rotate this region about the y-axis, it would give us this solid here. So our goal is to use the shell or tubes method to determine the volume of this solid. And the Scheller tubes method is the best choice to find this volume because we have a function of x and a vertical axis of rotation. And to determine the volume using the shell method with a vertical axis of rotation, we use this formula here. To help us set up the integral, let's draw a representative rectangle, which would represent one shell or one tube of the volume. When using the shell method, we always draw the rectangle parallel to the axis of rotation. So this would be one representative rectangle, which if rotated about the y-axis, would give us one shell or one tube of the volume. Now looking at our formula, the volume is equal to two pi times the integral from a to b of rho of x times h of x, integrated with respect to x, where rho of x is the radius function and h of x is the height function. So using the representative rectangle, the radius function would give us the distance from the rectangle to the axis of rotation, which would be this distance here. This is a horizontal distance equal to x, and therefore rho of x is equal to x. The height of the rectangle would be this distance here. Notice how this height would be given by the y value of the function, and because y equals f of x, the height function h of x is equal to negative 3 sine x. This is all the information we need in order to find the volume of the solid. So the volume v is equal to 2 pi times the integral. The limits of integration will be from pi to 2 pi. And the integrand function is rho of x times h of x, which is x times negative 3 sine x, integrated with respect to x, so we have dx. Let's go ahead and factor out the negative 3 and write this as negative 6 pi times integral from pi to 2 pi of x sine x. Let's evaluate this on the next slide. In order to evaluate this def integral, we have to use the technique of integration by parts. And in our class, we have not learned integration by parts yet, so we are going to evaluate this using the graphing calculator. If you're watching and you're in a different class where you've already learned integration by parts, you can refer to the notes here below to review how to set up the integral using integration by parts. But again, for our class, we'll be using the T84 to evaluate this integral and determine the volume. From the home screen, we'll first enter negative six pi to access pi, we press second, and then the exponent key, or caret, here. To access the definite integral, we press math, and then nine. The lower limit of integration is pi. Once we enter pi, we press the right arrow, which takes us to the upper limit of integration, which is two pi. Right arrow to enter the integrand function, which is x sine x, close parenthesis, right arrow. The variable of integration is x, so we enter x for dx, and then enter. And our homework system asks us to enter the exact value or the value rounded to four decimal places. So the decimal approximation would be 177.6529 cubic units.
if you do try to find the exact value using integration by parts, the exact value is 18 pi squared cubic units. Going back to the first slide, we now know if we rotate this region about the y-axis, it would give us this solid, and this solid has a volume of approximately 177.6529 cubic units. I hope you found this helpful.